Welcome to this tutorial on how to install Google Tag Manager and GA4 Analytics on your website. So I'm doing this, this is a generic one, this isn't Drupal specific, uh, but there is a few bits that um, we will touch on Drupal. So Google Tag Manager is uh, it's a powerful tool that allows you to manage and deploy tracking codes such as Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel on your website without having to touch any code. GA4 Analytics, on the other hand, is the latest version of Google Analytics that offers a more user-centric approach to tracking and analyzing your website's data. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to set up Tag Manager and GA4 Analytics, and we'll cover topics such as creating an account, setting up containers, adding tracking codes, and testing your installation to ensure that everything is working. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you will have to do is create a Tag Manager account. Uh, so if you've got a Google email address, you can basically search for Tag Manager and sign in using that account. So that will bring you to the All Accounts page. Now, obviously, I've got several accounts here. The one we're going to be working with is this one, hgcreasy.co.uk. Basically, you set up a container for each of your websites that you want to use Tag Manager on. You can obviously have multiple containers for each website if you wanted to manage them separately. Um, but we're going to do a simple solution. We're going to set up a container, or I'll show you how I set up a container on here. We'll actually use this one here. Then I'll show you how to install it on your website and also how to use it with GA4 Analytics. I'll show you the process for setting up an account. So say we've got this website, which we are going to call my website nice and originally container name will be www my website call it anything you like com and we will say it's going to be used on the web that will then create this go through the process of uh, creating the container and i have now got a container for my website.com so we are presented with two snippets of code which you need to somehow get onto your Web page. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. You can paste this directly into your web page, uh, into the um, HTML. Most CMSs and websites these days have a way of doing it um, automatically by basically taking this Tag Manager code and adding that in the configuration of your website. So I'll show you how to do that with Drupal because it's easy in there. And most other sites such as WordPress will have, have a similar thing. If you haven't got that, then you need to find a way of getting this into the header part of your page and this just after the opening tag, the opening body tag of your page. And as long as that appears on each page as you load it, then the container will be installed on that page. So we'll just say OK for that at the moment. You can go back to that if you need to at any point just by clicking on this tag here or the tag ID here, and that will show you that code again. But really, for the sake of most content managed systems, all you really need is this code here. So let me show you how that's installed on a Drupal site, for example. This is my um, HG Creasy site, which is where I store some details of some vehicles that were built by my family during the 1900s. Uh, and this is me logged in. So in Drupal, you've got a configuration page. And in here, you've got Google Tag Manager. And it's a very simple thing. Uh, you add a container. In this case, I've already got one set up. So if I show you that one, you go in here, you give the container a name, you put your container ID in here, and then you can change some conditions to determine which pages this, this container will appear on. So in this case, it's saying it appears on all paths except those listed below. And these are the paths that it won't appear on. And that's because those are admin pages and you don't want to be tracking admin pages usually. It, depend, it depends on your situation. Obviously, if it was an intranet, you probably would want to be tracking uh, logged in users. Um, there's some other things in Drupal that you can do. So you can say, well, only show it for administrators or don't show it for administrators, that sort of thing. You can take out different pages that you don't want to, to, it to display on, such as 404 pages and some various other filters that you can do here as well. I won't go too deep into that because I've already covered that in uh, the other video uh, regarding Drupal. Now on WordPress, there'll be a similar thing and most content management systems these days will have a place to uh, install your container ID. In Drupal, it's a specific module that creates that 
container ID, same with WordPress. I'm not sure about the other CMSs. Okay, so that's how you install it on your website. Going back to the Tag Manager admin, uh, this is what they call the workspace. At the moment, we've got no tags set up in our workspace. Um, so the first thing we need to do is add a new tag. So before we go ahead and add a tag, we need to get some information from our analytics account. So I'm going to actually add a live analytics account to this container just for demo purposes. Obviously, you would use your existing one. Makes sense. So from our analytics uh, account, we will choose the account we want to use, which in this case is HG Creasy, the GA4 one. So I haven't actually set this up yet. Uh, I've got the original one, which is the old school type, and I've got the GA4, which I've added but haven't set up. So let's switch that and do that as part of this exercise. So in our property, so I'll click through to the property. I said I have, yes, I have. Um, we have something called data stream. We click on that and it will show you our HG Creasy GA4. Clicking on that will give us the stream ID and the measurement ID. We do need the measurement ID because we need to add that to our Google Tag Manager. Now, if you click through here and view tag instructions, it will show you how to do it manually, but we don't want to do that. We want to install it using um, Google Tag Manager. And you can click there and learn more about that if you need to. So basically all we need to do is, once this is set up, um, grab that measurement ID and go back to our Tag Manager, create a new tag. And first of all, we need to give our tag a name. So we just need to give it a name. So this tag is for Google Analytics. So we will call it Google Analytics and we will give it a tag configuration. So we need a GA. So these are the, the built in tag types that you can choose. And it's pretty much covers everything you'll need. You can do a custom one if you wanted to do your own tracking or you've got your own JavaScript that you needed to do. But for most most use, it will be one of these here. So we need we do not want a GA4 event. We want a GA, Google Analytics GA4 configuration. The event is for specific click events uh, on your web page. So that's a bit more advanced than what we're doing here today. So we put our measurement ID in there um, and we want to send a page view event when this configuration loads. That's all we need to do. That is the basic tag setup. We also need a trigger, otherwise this tag won't fire. And for that, we're just going to do all pages. So basically for all pages, this analytics property will be loaded inside of the tag that we've created, the Google tag that we've created. So if we save that, at the moment, the changes are not published. So I showed you how to create uh, an account, but I've actually switched to the HG Creasy account now because we do actually need to amend that one. So let's do that while we're here. So this is my old analytics account. And that was the old type tracking ID, UA516, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We are going to add a new one. And we are going to call this Google, or let's call it GA4 Analytics. We add a tag and we go for a GA4 configuration, not the event one. And in there, we put our measurement ID, which we copied earlier. Uh, we want to send a page event view, page view event when this configuration loads. So every time this gets loaded, it's saying that the page has been viewed. We've added the tag, but we haven't got any trigger at the moment. So we need to tell it when we want this to fire. And we're going to say we want it to load on all pages. Now, obviously in Drupal, that may change according to the Google Tag Manager module, which will not show the whole container on certain pages. Whereas this is, if this container is on the page, it should fire for all pages. You can do filtering on this at this stage as well, if you like, uh, but I don't want to confuse things too much. Okay, so we've set up a tag called GA4 Analytics. We've given it our measurement ID and we have got all pages firing. If we save that, we will now have this tag going. Um, now we do need to publish this. So we do submit. You can give it a name. So just do latest changes. 
just so that you can roll it back if you need to. Probably a good idea to do that if it's a uh, live site or a busy site. And they're now publishing my changes and they have now changed. My container is now live on Google. Okay, it gives us a version number and some other information about our most recent changes. So if I go to the website, HGPC, and go to configuration, you'll see that we have got a container ID of WGR6LMS, which is the same as this one on Tag Manager. So it is now loading two containers within Tag Manager. So we probably need to get rid of that one or at least take that one out. So this one here, we no longer require. Sorry, this one here, we no longer require. And I think I can pause that. So let's just pause that one just in case we need to come back to it. So now the only tag that will be showing will be GA4 Analytics or the only container that will be showing. The container itself, all it does is loads the tags. Publish our container. Uh, let's just make it make sense. And publish. So we've now got version six live. So if we wanted to, we can go back to these just by um, setting as latest version. That will take you back to the previous version. Okay, so now when we visit our analytics for this website, at the moment, it doesn't think it's receiving any data. Let's see if we can test that. So let's just log out of this site so that uh, it should show the container. So if we now look for Google Tag Manager, we'll see that we've got Tag Manager loading the container here, and that in turn loads this um, analytics tag. So hopefully we should now be getting some data. If we go here, yeah, you'll see here that I've actually got a user here on this site. So that is now gathering data. This, this will probably take a little while to update with with uh, Google. So let's visit a few different pages, just test it's working. I recently visited this truck in India. It's in the New Delhi Museum, there's me, looking a bit stupid. Uh, yeah, so this truck, which was built by my family in 1930s, uh, is now sitting in India, where it was operating on the uh, Shimla line. There you go, a bit of information for you there. Useless information, but interesting, or interesting for me anyway. So if we go back to analytics, you should see within a moment or two, yeah, that we've got several several pages being viewed. I don't think they'll show up on the daily reports yet, but we can have a quick look, uh, see if that gives us any information. Yeah, so you can see that it is listing the pages that have been visited here um, on the site. Okay, so that's now receiving data. And that one's now fixed. That's now working on GA4. Okay, so that shows you how to do the basics of setting up Tag Manager. So it's really useful for adding any tracking tags that you might have, Facebook Pixel, as well as Google Analytics or anything else. You can also use it for things like cookie control because uh, you can add JavaScript based on uh, the page type, that sort of thing. So it's really useful. Very worthwhile to set that up and I would recommend you do that. Obviously it's different for every website but that gives you a sort of rough overview of how you do it. Okay thanks very much for watching, see you on the next one.